Today, I've come to the port of Canada's biggest city, Toronto. I've hopped aboard this barge with architectural engineer Yelena Ognanovich. Larissa, take a look at the skyline, isn't it amazing? We're headed to the ship channel to see how they're converting the first electric ferry in Canada. It's powered 100% with lithium-ion batteries, so it's 100% zero emission. I'm about to go off limits. Right now, we are placing new electric motors. We have built new battery rooms. The batteries that go in these racks will cut greenhouse gas emissions by 530 tons a year. In each of those slots is going to be one cell module. The cell module size is the size of a shoebox and it weighs around 60 kilos. Exhaust pipes that used to carry harmful emissions have been removed. And in their place, a charging arm. The cool thing about the vessel, once it's become electric, is that we have to charge it with electric power. And we're planning on achieving that by Charging Tower, which is located at Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport. Yelena's team is working hard to get the ferry back in the water. It not only takes travelers to and from Billy Bishop Airport, but is a lifeline, bringing service vehicles and supplies to those who live there. You have a background in architectural engineering. Did you ever think that with that background you would end up working in a place like this? If you have asked me this question 10 years ago, I would never th thought that I would be here today on, on this kind of a project. But that just shows the importance of having a strong background in a certain field, but also transferable skills and knowledge. What's the coolest part of your job? The coolest thing about the job is to have ability to make a change in a small ways, but also to the best way possible. It's also that you learn something new with every day. After 20 weeks in dry dock, this ferry has gone electric and is back in the water. What can I say to all young girls? Invest in your knowledge, be strong, be brave. Don't be afraid to fail, but also uh, we should keep in mind to be creative and sometimes to be rough and allow for uncertainty to happen because it will bring us something new and magnificent and unexpected, uh, but in the same way beautiful. 